Okay, so now we're going to prove question 20b in Burton's number theory book, which states that if the GCD of A and B is equal to 1, and C divides A, then the GCD of B and C is equal to 1. So let's go ahead and start this proof. Okay, so we're going to assume the GCD of A and B is equal to 1, and that C divides A. Well, we know from the theorem, if we have the GCD of A and B equal to 1, theorem 2.3 in Burton's book, this implies that the linear combination, right, AX plus BY is equal to 1, where X and Y are integers, right? And since C divides A, by definition, this implies that A is equal to CK, where K is an integer. Okay, so I want the GCD of B and C equal to 1. So I want a linear combination involving B and C and integers, right? Well, since I have A in this equation and I have A equal to CK here, I can substitute that CK where the A is up here. So this implies that CK uh, times X plus BY is equal to 1. And to get the form for the GCD of B and C exactly how I want it, this implies that BY plus uh, C times KX is equal to 1, where of course, if K is an integer and X is an integer, the product is an integer. So I have B times an integer plus C times an integer equal to 1. So by theorem 2.3 in Burton's book, this means that the GCD of B and C is equal to 1, which is exactly what I wanted to show. That is the proof.